Hey Lion, welcome to games. Wait. Hey games, welcome to guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> See, this is what happens when I take a long break. And then when I come back, my brain doesn't brain the way I need it to brain. Ah, let's try this again. Hey guys, my name is Lion. Welcome to Cloud Climber. Indie developer Two Star Games made this game. They also made Choo Choo Charles. Now keep in mind, Choo Choo Charles, as you can see, he's advertising it at the bottom right hand corner. It's a more horror based type of game. Now Cloud Climber is a more of a mystery. And I love the summary because it states a surreal first person walking sim about the end of humanity, explore magnificent skybound ruins and learn why they were built. I've been itching for a profound game, something with essence, and it seems like Cloud Climber really is promising. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. Oh, I like the art style. It's almost like everything's made out of cardboard and it was drawn on. Another day has arrived. I'd best get my water before going to work. Alright, must be thirsty. Gosh, this looks so cool. Oh man, like everything scribbled all over. That's really cool. What's in here? Chest keys required must be this key. Ooh, what's this say? Stand diary page 1489. My gosh, <laughs> I may need to get the neighboring tower in the future, but I know the other builders keep the entrance to the bridge locked. I saw a key on the table at the top of the tower a few weeks ago before I went to get more building supplies. I haven't been up there in a few days, so I'll need to check if it unlocks the bridge door. If the other's tower ever become vacant, I might need to get across, so I'll have to keep this in mind. Huh. Why ain't that something? Okay. So what what are these towers about? Like, well, I, want, I want to see what they look like. Oldie, let me see what my inventory got. Bucket of water. What's out here? Construction on the last tower stopped weeks ago. I can only assume that the builders have met their fate by now. Met their I fate? I believe it's safe enough for me to go and continue building higher yet from where they left off. I'll need to travel across the other two towers to get there, but I'm sure I can find a way. I'm sure we can, my friend, but, but you said met their fate. Like, what do you mean? Like, death? Did they die? Let's see. Oh. I wonder what's the story behind the apocalyptic setting here like why why build towers is there something is it this smoke maybe ah uh, we'll find out we'll see what's up here can i open this i can't open this none really here oh uh, oh another letter Let's see what this is about joey diary page 420 i've been building all day long and Bernie the Great Terrible has been sitting on his butt, acting as foreman. In other words, he doesn't do any work and drink all our water. I've started locking my water chest just in case he really does think he's above us all. Huh. Well, who, who is this guy? Bernie. Okay, so Bernie, he's the dude that just kind of mooches off of people, huh? So far, I mean, you never know. There's always three sides to a story. Your side, my side, and the truth. There's an old man that once taught me this great, great saying. Don't believe anything you hear and half of what you see. Open the door. Okay. All right. No. Okay. I guess I can't. Here we go. Ooh. Can I climb? Can I climb this? No. Gosh, this looks so cool. It almost looks like Borderlands, maybe? Kind of like the art. Found a key. Bridge door key added to the inventory. Oh, this must be the key to the locked door that I tried opening. Okay, so I see. We have to get across. Okay. Alright. 
key was used. Another note. Edna, diary page 36. I can't believe today is the 100th anniversary of our tower. I know others have been building much longer, and now I wish our grandparents had taken his this whole thing more seriously. A hundred years ago, they decided things were getting dangerous, but why didn't they see the problem 200 years ago? Well, I mean, uh, well, uh, okay, or even longer. I'm still glad they are started. I'm still glad they started building, but I just wish we had seen this coming. Wait, I mean, how, how will anybody know a hundred years in advance that something's about to happen? Like, It's been quite some time since I was on the second tower. I haven't crossed this bridge since the builders became greedy and took the supplies that were meant to come to our tower. Mm. Just like all the other towers, its inhabitants quickly grew desperate and aggressive. Now it stands empty. Yeah, greed, uh, greed has a way of uh, destroying everything you have. Okay, so that was my tower. And then this is our, uh, whoever's tower. Okay, I can't grab anything here. Okay, we'll find out what's going on here. Kyle Diary, page 45. I guess I knew this day would come, but I didn't expect it to come this soon. Yesterday we started extreme rationing of our water. A few days back, we stopped getting supplies from the ground crew on our lift. We can only assume that they stolen the supplies for themselves, ran out of water and food sources, or simply died. If we don't get into the clouds soon, we might need to see if we can get some from one of the neighboring towers. So, it seems like we are trying to race something and we just keep trying to go higher and higher not sure what this is about i mean the only kind of clue that i'm getting it's this smoke maybe man look at these far off towers it seemed like humanity just decided to just build but wouldn't that make it harder like the further higher you build the further down you have to climb for resources at some point, you're just earning a fuse in your life, maybe. Am I, am I wrong? I don't know. Okay, I can't really open this. Oh, another note. Bertha Diary, page 9825. My goodness. Dear Diary, wouldn't it be ironic if it rained now, after decades of building? Now would be the perfect time, since we've just started rationing our supplies more. But I have a good feeling about things. I know I've never seen rain myself, but grandmother always told me how wonderful it felt. It would be so surreal to be on the ground and see water for miles instead of desert and wasteland. I'm sure it will rain someday. We just need to survive until then. Ah, oh, so something happened. So this is like a natural catastrophe. So is all the water from the ground like dried and there's no rain? Hmm. They installed a rope cart on this level to get to the third tower. I should be able to use it to get across. Okay. Let's do it. Can we open this chest maybe? No? One other note. Kyle Diary, page 46. I tried to be reasonable. I tried to talk with them, but those greedy little scumbags on Tower 1 don't want to share their supplies with us. I'm not going to die miles above the ground, drying up like a raisin while other people watch. I'm going over there tonight to take everything I need so I can last long enough to watch everyone else die. Oh my gosh, <laughs> dude, your intentions are not pure at all. Chances are that's probably why you didn't make it. Ah. All right, let's see. See, wow, humanity always turns on itself, man. It seems like any type of poca, 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 <laughs> post-apocalyptic situation, man, we all just turn on each other, man. Why, why, why is that a thing? Uh, uh, no, I don't think I was supposed to come up here. But man, you guys, if we could all just focus on the problem and not each other, 
I think personally, we would go greatly into some distance to progress. I don't know. That's just me. Maybe do I have to click? Ah, I see. Okay, so this is the story of the second tower. What's the third tower has in store for us? Gosh, you know, I could almost call this place beautiful if these dust storms weren't so suffocating. That's what it is. Dust storms. Okay. I hope I find what I'm looking for at the fourth tower. Well, so far we're at the third tower, and I seem like that's the fourth. Yeah, so everyone's just dying of thirst. Padang Diary. Am I saying that right? Well, that's what I'm going to say. Page one. I couldn't be more frustrated right now. We're running out of water, running out of building supplies, and Carr just won't get along with me. At least five times a day, he pretends he's going to push me off the tower. I swear, if I do fall someday, it'll be his fault. Yeah, don't play about those things, man. Why are you trying to play? <laughs> don't push me off. Joey, Diary Page, 556. Yesterday, Harong, I'm, I'm, I'm going to call him Harong, fell off the tower. I don't know how it happened. Oh, no. But it was a shame, especially since he had the key to most of the water chests. We'll need to break the locks once. Wait, wait, hold on. That caught me off guard. He died. So he actually did fall off. We'll need to break the locked ones open soon since we've almost emptied out the other chests. Ah, oh, so. See, you can't play like that, man. What are the? Well, it seems like the odds were. Whoa. Yeah, we don't want to go that way. I guess down is not the option. I guess we are going up. Gosh, what? <laughs> he was just saying. Ah, oh, that's terrible. Guess who needs enemies when you have friends like those, right? Carl Diary, page 57. I just can't get over it. Harong gives the absolute best reaction when I mess with him. For the past week, I've been pretending to get mad and shove my arms at him, as if to push him off the tower. I don't think this will ever get old. And I can tell Harong loves it. No, dude. Ah. Did you push him off? Did you kill Harong? Oh, man, see, that's not right, man. That's not right. You can't be playing like that. Oh, that's terrible. Oh. Oh. Got a stack of planks. What am I supposed to do with the stack of planks? Can I open this? No. What am I supposed to do with the stack of planks? Oh. Wait. Looks like I'll need to fix this bridge. Ah, oh, maybe the stack of planks that I got. Okay, cool, cool. Stack of planks. It's hard to believe that I'm the last one here. I never thought it would end like this. Makes you wonder what the whole point was in the first place. And that's deep. That's deep. To be the last survivor. What's the point at that point, right? A note of ambition. Out of everyone on this earth, our families were the only ones who took the water crisis seriously. We were the ones who started building. We were mocked and told we were insane. We were the ones who everyone looked to when the lakes and rivers dried up. Our, blueprint, our blueprints were the ones that were stolen as people became desperate. Out of everyone on this earth, we are the ones who deserve to survive. The clouds are brimming with liquid life, but are still so evasive. We've been building for a long time, but we're not done yet. We have farther to go. We will climb the clouds. The son of Zilchar. Hmm, so it's a family that maybe... It kind of reminds me of... 
the story of Noah's Ark. He kept telling a flood was coming in hundreds of years and telling a flood was coming and nobody would listen until the flood came. Except in this situation is the exact opposite. It's like a drought of some kind. Dewey Diary, page 490. This evening, Kevin made a really cheesy speech about how we alone will prevail and how we're the only descendants of the great ones who deserve life. It was honestly the cringiest speech I've ever heard, and that's really saying a lot considering the other stuff he's been saying lately. He also keeps referring to himself in the third person and only responds to us if we call him son of Zilchar. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Is there anything here? No, I guess up we go. Yeah, this is definitely very similar to Noah's Ark. Except instead of arcs, it's towers. And instead of a flood, it's a drought. Hmm. What's over here? Can I open this? Ah, it seems like all the stuffs are locked, man. Okay. Oh. Stack of planks added. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, a hammer. I'm collecting all these things, but I don't know what to do with them. Oh, I'm supposed to continue building. I guess we just keep building to the top. Oh. Oh, oh. I feel like I'm playing Fortnite. <laughs> what the heck? It's terrible. Did I do it? This place really is beautiful, even with the dust storms. It's peaceful in a way. I've been working on that tower my whole life and never once stopped to appreciate what we'd spent our lives building. We only looked up to the clouds hoping we'd someday reach them so we could prolong our lives. Now that everyone's gone, I know any attempt I might make at accomplishing that would be futile. Rather than spending the rest of my life building a tower, maybe it's time I took a break. It's been a long time, but I think I'm finally done. Wait, you're not gonna you're not gonna jump off, are you? Oh no. Nah. What do you know? It started to rain. Thanks for playing. That was good. There was a lot of deep meaning to that final segment of this game. I like that. That was a simple, profound game. It scratched the itch. It really did. Well, guys, there you have it. Cloud Climber. Something that I feel like what I took from the reference of the end where he said we've been climbing and building that we never got to appreciate what we built. I feel like he was also talking about life and life. We're always chasing our next goals, chasing money, riches, maybe a better life. But sometimes we need to take a break. Sometimes we need to look what we have created look back at the things that we have done and appreciate them before we can no longer appreciate them that was deep i like this anyways you guys thank you so much for joining me in the meantime check out some of my videos subscribe like let me know what you guys think and as always i'll catch you guys in the next one